know I'm a hustler, hustler. You know I'm a hustler, hustler. Well, I'ma break it down one time. I'm the man, and I'm letting y'all know. Letting y'all know. Yeah, we getting that guap, that fit of them shits. Yeah, we stacking that dough. That I dope. said I'm a hustler, baby. You know I'm a hustler. You know, you know, you know I'm the man. I'm a hustler, baby. It is said that it is not a good idea to bite the hand that feeds you. This analogy implies that if you do such a thing, your support will dry up. But what about if you bludgeon the head of the person that feeds you, then what happens to the support along with your personal freedoms? This is a story of an ex-Playboy playmate and lady hustler who participated in the killing of her sugar daddy and stuffing his body in the trunk of her blue Mercedes C300 after he stopped paying her $3,200 a month rent. Her sugar daddy before his untimely death was 71-year-old psychiatrist Thomas Kirk Bacards. Dr. Picard had given the model Turner more than $300,000 over the course of their acquaintanceship. But this lady hustler was not alone. She had as assistant from her lover John Logan Kennison and her girlfriend Diana Nicole Penna. Kelsey Turner's blue Mercedes Benz sat empty where they left it in the desert east of Las Vegas, miles away from a two-lane road surrounded on either side by barren mountains and pink tinted sand. On the morning of March 7, 2019, a man who had been passing through their remote terrain near the Lake Mead National Recreation Area with his children spotted a two-door coupe amid the creosote and sagebrush and he called the local area Nevada police. It was unclear how long the car had been baking under Nevada sun, but when the patrol officers got there, they noticed the smell of decomposition. After entering and searching through the unlocked abandoned luxury sports car, Police made a grotesque discovery. An older looking white man had been stuffed in a trunk with piles of clothes and bedding covering his dead body. Blood residuals spattered the driver's seat headrest and back seat as well. Several pairs of latex gloves were on the passenger seat along with the evidence that someone had lit a small fire. A coroner's report would later reveal that the man had died of blunt force trauma after being struck in the head multiple times with an identified object. The trail of clues that were left behind in the desert ultimately led investigators to Kelsey Nicole Turner, an aspiring Maxim cover girl who had appeared in magazines like Playboy and Dream Vixens. Thomas Bacard was a respected psychiatrist at a hospital in Monterey, California. Bacard had known the model for about two years and had been helping her out financially for much of that time. His longtime girlfriend, Judy Erb, would say this. He was always helping people, she said. Anybody with a sad story, you know. Some people just took advantage of that. The doctor and the model made an untimely pairing. They met on Instagram where Kelsey Turner had more than 100,000 followers. Turner posted photos of herself in skimpy bikinis and lacy lingerie, revealing a tattoo of a gun and a garter belt on her upper left thigh. Dr. Bacard, an opposite attitude person, sported a bow tie, spectacles, and a salt and pepper beard. In a social media headshot, and was also known for entertaining the children who treated at the community hospital of Monterey, Pennsylvania with magic tricks, including one in which he turned a dollar bill into a hundred dollar bill. For many years, he had been the only child psychiatrist working in the coastal community. Toward the end of his 40 year career, he had retired by switching to a four day work week, fearing that his patients would go without care if he left the profession altogether. But the murder of this good doctor would not be solved without the assistance from Judy Earp. Judy Earp was Dr. Bacard's girlfriend of nearly two decades, who first pointed a finger at the budding model. Earp had reported the psychiatrist missing several days before his body was ever found in the trunk of that Mercedes Benz. 
Judy Earp told authorities that Dr. Picard had flown to Las Vegas to visit Miss Turner and texted her on March 2nd to tell her that he was excited to return home to California, but had to take care of a few things first. That same day, she received a string of text messages that didn't sound like him at all. When she tried to call him to see what was going on, she noticed that Dr. Picard's cell phone was turned off. Before moving to Nevada, the Playboy centerfold Miss Turner had spent a year living in Central California city of Salinas, 20 miles from Monterey, in a $3,200 a month house that she shared with her mother and her two children. Dr. Picard had paid the bikini model's rent the whole time, but ultimately, one year before his murder, he informed the landlord that he was done. Three months later, the family was evicted. Turner then moved to Las Vegas, signing a lease on a new house that same December. Over the course of his current relationship with his fiance Judy Earp, Dr. Picard had given money to roughly a half dozen women. Judy Earp described the psychiatrist as overly compassionate. She said Kelsey wasn't the first person he helped, but unfortunately, the last, she said. But previously, his extreme generosity had contributed to the dissolution of his first marriage. Copies of his divorce filings from 2001 show that he had sent thousands of dollars to women who he met online to help them pay for rent, bills, and prescription medications. Though Dr. Picard insisted that he was simply trying to assist people in need, his ex-wife categorized the relationship as being very inappropriate and said that she had caught him emailing women with suggested screen names from their home computer. It's unclear how the ex-Playboy model and Dr. Picard met. His fiance Judy Earp did not believe the model had ever been a patient of his and that he had signed the lease in Salinas after the 25-year-old claimed that the credit card and her credit was keeping her from finding a place to live. The psychiatrist had been scheduled to fly home to California on March 4th, but never returned, police said. Miss Turner then boyfriend bludgeoned Bacar to death with a bat at her insistence and stuffed his body into the trunk of Turner's luxury vehicle. The female friend present at the murder by the name of Diana Pina agreed to a plea deal of accessory to murder charge. She told a grand jury that Dr. Bacar was killed by John Logan Kennison, Kelsey's Turner's boyfriend, when Dr. Burchard went to visit Turner in Las Vegas in early March. Penner was previously charged with murder in the case, but pled guilty to one charge of accessory to murder in June 2019, insisting she had nothing to do with the bludgeoning herself. Penner would later tell law enforcement that Turner and Bacard got into an altercation after Miss Turner became upset about photos and messages on the doctor's phone. She added that she was there when she saw Kennison suddenly raise a bat at the unsuspecting victim, but didn't see it connect with him. She further told police that she witnessed Miss Turner egg on the violence.